So in this video, I'm going to show you real quickly how I end up getting a lot of my own samples and how I start to use them from scratch. Um, Splice, in the previous lesson I mentioned, is an awesome way to be able to just find individual samples. Uh, it can be overwhelming when you download a sample pack and there's like six billion sounds in there and you're like sending, spending hours just scrolling through sample by sample. So Splice really helps you solve that. Uh, when you download it, it has a desktop app. It also has a web application. So like you can go to the website splice.com and then when you pay like seven or eight bucks a month, you have access to like 300 samples. Uh, it's just ridiculous. Check out the link below this video um, to sign up if you haven't yet to make an account. But Splice is super dope. If you download their app to your computer, it looks like this. And I can go in and see all my projects. It's like a free backup. Um, if you run out of hard drive space for all your projects, it automatically syncs up. Um, there's more info on that on their site. But the samples tab over here on the left. Once I'm in there, I can choose instruments or genre or all the downloads that I've already downloaded right here. I'm going to choose instruments. And maybe I'm looking for a drum sound. Now over here on the right, I can choose if I want a full like four bar loop or eight bars usually. And I can choose one shot. So this is like a, just a kick drum or a snare, just one hit. Um, I can choose a range of the BPM I want. So let's choose loop. Let's choose a range of like say like 890 BPM to say like 105 or something. Maybe we'll go lower, like 80 to 100. I'll choose update. And then you can even choose, obviously the keys of drums isn't going to be as relevant, so I won't choose that. But if I was choosing like a piano, I could choose like the key of E major or minor. And then down here are tags, like different styles. Um, like right now it says hats, percussion, um, acoustic, whatever. You can get really targeted with what you want. And then you can reset it here or change it later. Um, so I can go through and just listen and download individual samples. And it's a really good way just to find what you want and then grab it. So for now, I'm just going to like click one of these. Maybe let's go down here. So just for the sake of whatever, I'll just grab anything in here. It doesn't matter what it is. I'm going to grab that. If I drag that, I'm going to drop that into Ableton's uh, session view on this audio clip. And then uh, I'll just hit play. And you'll notice once you drop it in, it'll change Ableton's tempo to whatever the original recording of, of that sample, what it was. That's only if you drop in a new uh, sample into a new project. If you already have a project with stuff going on, it's not going to change that, which is kind of tight. So um, then I can go back in here and say maybe I want like a melody. So I'll grab instruments. Maybe I'll choose keys and I'll choose like C sharp minor. And I could choose a Rhodes. I love a Rhodes piano sound. That's kind of tight. Let's grab that and drop that into this audio track. And so now we've already started to create a song pretty quickly. And to take it one step further, if I create an, um, a simpler, so let's go into Ableton's Instruments and grab a simpler, I'll drop that into here. I can take this exact sound and drop it straight into here. And then you'll see later um, in this course, you'll see a video on how to use the simpler and different tips and tricks and hacks. So just uh, hang on. As you go throughout this course, you will get deeper into the simpler and what that looks like. But right now, I can just focus in on a certain hit or a certain note by using this marker. And then I can go in and say, hey, I want to like just focus on playing back, say, maybe just this note. So now I can use the keyboard. And um, now I can actually start playing back this note. By playing on my MIDI keyboard right here in front of me. Um, so now I can play this note and start to record a new clip. One, two, three, four. And there you go. Now I've got the start of this new track. See those notes? It's actually playing those notes back. Um, whenever you have a simpler instrument, if I drop a sample in there, if you play middle C on my computer 
MIDI keyboard or my little MIDI piano here, it's going to play back the original note um, that is inside the sampler of that sample. So I'm playing C on my piano right now, but this might actually in all reality be a C sharp because it should be because this is a C sharp and it actually renamed the sampler right here. You could see um, the name of that sample. So key 105 technology C sharp minor seven. And then you can see that's the actual name of the sample in here that we just downloaded. Um, so I can go into my all downloads and you can find that sample in there. So anyway, that's splice. This thing's awesome. It's worth it. It's like seven bucks a month. Um, and you get a ton of, I never actually use all the samples I get in here. Hopefully this is helpful. Um, you also can download that Dan Giffen sample pack I made and use that as well. Uh, yeah, keep chugging through the course. Hopefully this is helpful. I'll see you guys later. Get down, huh?